Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to enable peaceful mode on a Factorio server. Peaceful mode does not completely remove enemies. Enemies will still spawn, but will only attack the player when they're provoked. Also, already existing biters are not affected by the mode change. We will first go over how to change this on the server, and then we will go over how to change this in game. First, we're going to log into our Bicep Hosting Games panel and choose our Factorio server. Next, we're going to choose the stop button to stop the server. Then under the config files drop down menu, we're going to choose map generation settings. We are then going to navigate to the peaceful mode line, which is by default around line 19. We're going to change this from false to true. Once that's changed, we're going to choose the save content button. Then we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we'll have enabled peaceful mode on our Factorio server. We will now go over how to enable peaceful mode on a Factorio server in game. Before we get started, admin rights are required to do this in game, and I'll have a video linked in the description going over how to give admin rights. First, we're going to log into our server, and then once we are in game, we're going to open the console by hitting the tilde key. Then we're going to enter the following slash C space game period player period surface period peaceful underscore mode space equals space true. I will also have this in the description for you to easily copy and paste. We can then hit enter and we'll have enabled peaceful mode on the server, but keep in mind, peaceful mode does go back to the default setting from the configuration file in the next server restart. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.